Hello, Gemini. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Tarot Illuminati by Eric C. Dunn. It's for support of Oracle cards, the Spirit Animal Oracle by Colette Baron Reed. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. I feel like we have some good energy going here. Not that the other ones didn't, but there's something like itching to come forward is what I'm already getting. Like, almost like, I feel like it's overdue. Like, something is overdue. Something needs to happen. I'm waiting for it to happen. That's my first thought. Like, I feel like I'm overdue. Like, like why is this taking so long? Why hasn't this happened before now? Okay, let's see what we got. All right, your cards are good. At the end, at least. <laughs> you're, you're going to a very good place. Now, whatever you're dealing with, this might be the flipping of, like, somebody might be doing well now, and maybe you're putting up with them, but this is going to flip, and you're going to be in the power position, is what I'm getting. This is overdue. I feel like, again, this is overdue. Like, yeah, I've been waiting for my turn at bat. I feel like it's that type of thing. Now, you've been holding very strong to your own sense of morals, whatever that means. Whatever you want to happen, whatever you're trying to set up to move forward, you've been holding very strong. I almost feel like you've been be, being really smart, kind of like, all right, I know what I want to happen here. Um, I wouldn't say any of these cards were overly secretive, but I almost feel like you're kind of like, before somebody can take this away from me or give me a hard time or damage this on me, that might be really what it is, before anybody can damage this on me, I'm going to kind of keep this back over here, out of their sight. They don't need to see that. They don't know about it. They can't give me a hard time about it. They can't damage it on me. And you're planning. You've been planning. With the King of Wands, nope, that's the King of Pentacles. With the King of Pentacles, you've been planning. So, what else you got there? You got Armadillo? It's coming later. Eagle Spirit, Koala, and the King of Pentacles. Koala is like you know what you want. You're going to do it the way you want it to do. Spirit has a plan is what it says on there. That's kind of reiterating the same energy as the Knight of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles. But I'm getting more koala. Like, you know exactly what you want and you will. You have every intention of getting what you want. Like, this is not just kind of like a thought. This is like, I want, I am going to have, I'm getting my plan together. I'm keeping an eye out to see if anything else comes in to aid my pursuit. But I know what I want. Uh, I might change this plan as I go forward, but I'm still getting my goal. The only reason I'm changing my plan is because it's going to help me get to that goal a little easier than it originally originally thought it would be. The last one there, the eagle spirit, is kind of like, it's hidden, you notice. It's hidden back here behind everything. You know, sooner or later, you're going to have your chance. And you're just keeping an eye out for that moment when you have your chance. You're playing this extremely smart. You're not letting people have the chance to derail it. You're keeping it off to the side. You're like, no, 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 no. It's not about trusting people. It's just about, you know, if people don't know it's here, they can't really mess with it. So the less, you know, there's only one cook for this soup, <laughs> and it's me. So I'm keeping it that way. I'm the cook for this soup. I'm not letting other people know it's even here. Now, you got the frog, stag, and eight of wands coming into the environment. I find this so ironic that I'm saying this. This is unexpected. And I find it ironic because Gemini usually sees a lot of angles. This is something that's coming literally out of the blue, not expected. Somebody's pushing forth what they want. With that frog, it's kind of like, this is unexpected. Like, just flat out unexpected. I'm getting the frog feels unexpected. Like it's popping up from the water and jumping out of the water and jumping all over the place. It's kind of like, I didn't expect that frog to come up out of the, the pond and start bouncing all over the place. And it's like, it's, it's obvious that that could happen, but I wasn't really thinking of it. I think that's what it is. You just weren't thinking of it. Like, yeah, I know there's a pond here, but a frog jumping out of it and jumping all over the place, it just wasn't expecting that. I knew it was possible, but it was just not probable. It's coming in. It's coming in quick with this. Like there's a there's something coming on here with the stag. Somebody's making a decision, making things happen, moving things forward. It's almost like um, 
someone's like going on a weekend trip and they're trying to pull you along on this weekend trip and it's like it's literally friday and they're like i'm going in an hour come on let's get together and you're like what like it's not like that's out of the realm of possibilities but you literally wasn't weren't even thinking about it you just weren't thinking about it you had other things you had other things going on it just wasn't something you were thinking about like that's that's something like gemini usually sees most angles so i just feel like you're getting you're caught off guard with this now, it's weird because somebody's convincing you to do something coming right in out of the blue. Um, you seem to be going along with it. It seems to go fairly well. Okay, you get involved in something. Somebody pulls your attention. They, I really, I, I still, I can't get over that I keep saying that you're, you're, you're shocked, but I feel like you are. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. I'm just kind of shocked that you're shocked. Okay. Um... You go along with it. Seems like it's fine. Seems like it's a good time. Everything's okay. It's cool. You got the canary with the princess of swords, which that's more of a meld between the knight and the page energy. It's kind of a bit of both, depending on what's going on. So you're, you're getting your two cents in there. Things seem fine at this point, but it's literally just not very thought out at this point. The more you think about what you're involved with at this point, the more you're starting to realize this affects my long-term plans. This is affecting your long-term plans and you're like, once you realize it, you're like, oh no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This last minute trip here, this weekend jaunt, that just hit my finances in a way that I was planning to use that money for something else. And now this has set things back a little bit. You're not happy about that. But you're also kind of like, all right, what do I need to do to get this back on track? Because that plan is not an option. I know what I want. I'm going to get it. And now I've allowed this setback because I just, it's kind of like you got set back before you realized that you're just like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What did I just do? And you're like, son of a, like I shouldn't have done that. I had other plans for this. And now I got to go back and I have to recalculate what I've done and put it back in order. Um... There's a weird energy here because I feel like whatever the situation is, it's almost like Friday you're doing this stuff, right? They're, they're like, weekend trip, come on, woo, let's go. And then you you do it, you, um, like you get halfway involved in this and then you're like, I, I have to stop. Like, I don't know, it's kind of like Friday night until like Saturday morning and then like Saturday morning you're like, oh no, I can't waste all this money on this. I have to call this now. I, I'm going to have to bow out. It was fun, but now that I'm thinking about it, I can't spend the rest of Saturday and all Sunday doing this. It's going to dent my finances too much. I can't do it, so I'm going to have to step out. This also might be the five of wands because you might get some pushback on that. Because like Whatever this situation is where you're like, oh, it's fun, yeah, it's cool, then you're like, wait a minute, whoa, 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 whoa. This is throwing things off. I can't have that. The armadillo spirit comes in like, nope, I, it was fun, but like I'm out. It's Saturday morning, but I'm done. I gotta go home. I can't do this. I can't put this money into this or whatever it is. I can't do this. I gotta. I gotta stop. I gotta go. So you do, and you you bow out of the situation. It could be there's there could be a controversy or conflict about that. Um, this energy is in the uh, environment. Uh, it's weird. I feel like I say that a lot some days. You got the snake spirit, but you also got the spider and you got the, the fish or the koi fish. These are all very different um, to me. Like, no, they're all very different. The, the water coming in here is like somebody trying to just keep things going and trying to ignore your change. Somebody's trying to ignore that you changed direction. Somebody's like literally trying to just ignore it like it didn't happen. Somebody is like trying to convince you to come back into it i'm getting that with the spider kind of like come on over come back come back communication seems very strong with the spider too because like if something gets stuck in the web the spider immediately knows where it is and gets right to it because the communication came down that line and they're like oh that's where it is i'm going for it so i'm getting like there's a communication somebody's trying to convince you to come back somebody's acting like this didn't happen then there's this problem like it says time to heal, but when I that that's that snake on that picture, like that looks like a very 
It looks like a dangerous snake to me, quite frankly. Uh, it looks like it could get you. Um, definitely to me looks like it could get you. Uh, <laughs> like it could cause some problems. So I feel like somebody's giving you a hard time. There seems to be out this hubbub. Like, there's a lot of energy coming at you trying to change your mind. But I literally think this is one of those situations, if we're going to use the same analogy, like you get involved Friday, Saturday morning you wake up and you're like, uh-oh, this isn't going to work. This is going to throw everything off. You say, I'm not going to be a part of this. i got to stop. I'm sorry. It was fun, but i got to bow out. And you literally leave right away. All this information might be going as you're traveling home. Like you're traveling home, like I, I the, the weekend jaunt is over for me. i got to go home. As you're driving home, maybe somebody's calling you or leaving you messages or they're trying to even trying to convince you to come back and you're like, I'm not going to do it. You do seem to successfully get out of this situation because you're like, that's not going to work. I can't do this. But there's this weird energy just kind of like trying to control you and get you to do what they want. They might not see it that way, but that's literally the energy and how it feels. Um... There's a weird discord here from this moment. People are upset. And they they almost seem to like ostracize you for a slight moment. I don't think this is permanent, by the way. I don't think this is permanent. But they might ostracize you for a slight period of time. Um, they're very upset that you changed your mind, that you went a different direction. I don't think... I think... It feels to me like there's this is overreacting. This does feel to me like it's overreacting. But, you know, take it with a grain of salt, of course. General read, you know, and all that. Um, they just seem to be ignoring you for a while. And they, people seem to be bent out of shape. I just feel like this is overreacting. I really do. You go back in line with your plan. You put things back in line. And you are still going for your goal. You will not be deterred from your goal. You are going towards it. You're going to have it. And that's it. You got Bobcat, Turkey, and you got the Ten of Cups. The Bobcat especially is telling me you're not showing your plans until they're actually happening or until you have to. You're not showing where you're, what you're planning to do until you you have to do that. And you are going to get success is what I'm getting. The turkey to me thinks, I feel like it's success. It says give with gratitude and grace, but I feel a success feel with that, like a bountiful turkey. I also feel like you're enjoying whatever it is you're going for. You got the ten of cups. When you do achieve your goal, it seems like it makes more sense to people why, why you pulled back on certain things. People seem to understand more. Um, when you achieve your goal, I feel like this, it's like the, the situation takes a 180. People are okay with you now. They stop ostracizing you. They stop overreacting. And now all of a sudden everything's okay again. That's what the wheel says to me when this finally happens. Like people chill out and they realize, oh, you had that goal. Why didn't you say so? I would have, I would have whatever. I feel like you holding it back is smart though. Um, but once you attain your goal, everything seems to go right back in line. That seems really strange to me, but that's what I'm getting from this. It's just, I actually also feel like one of the things that this is serving you when people seem to ostracize you and be all bent out of shape and over dramatic, ironically, I think I feel like that really helps you get to your goal that much quicker. It's almost like instead of spending my time there with that stuff, I'm hyper focusing on what I want, and it just makes it come forward much quicker, much more stable. It works to your advantage because I don't I don't know if you're really gonna get bent out of shape about it. You're going to be aware of it, I know that much. But how upset you get about it is kind of relative to whatever you're dealing with. Um, use that time to your advantage because I feel like it just gets you closer to your goal, brings you to your goal a lot quicker. I just feel like it, it works to your advantage. I don't know if that sounds strange, but that's what I'm getting. So use it to your advantage. Once you get to your goal, things, things will solve. And I feel like that makes a difference. Once you get to your goal and things go back in line, all's good. Ironically, I do think this whole thing is going to your benefit. It just, when this weird dramatic moment happens, it just may be hard to see it that way because you might be thinking, oh, now that we have problems, now we have to fix these problems. Once you attain your goal, though, it's like people seem to just automatically understand. Oh, you were doing that. Oh, I didn't know that. If you had said that, I would have I looked at this differently. But in truth, it doesn't matter why you were doing what you were doing. 
you have the right to make your own decisions, and people need to respect that. So that's that. All right. I'm going to shut this down here. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you.